Most of what the SCP Foundation contains are things you would rightfully prefer to keep locked up. After all, not many people want to be torn to shreds by SCP-096, tortured by SCP-106, eaten up by SCP-082, or driven mad by the sheer power and evil of the Scarlet King. Most SCPs are so cruel or dangerous that a run-in with even a cute little teddy bear could spell your doom. But what about the other side of the coin? What about the SCP objects you don't just want to avoid, but actually have in your possession to see, to use as you see fit? That, my friends, is exactly what we're here to discuss today. The SCP objects you'd actually want. No hidden catches, no nightmarish side effects, no curses or strings attached. Think of it almost like an anomalous Sky Mall catalog. These are all the SCPs you never knew you wanted, but would happily break into an SCP Foundation containment facility to obtain. Speaking of breaking into places, let's start our odyssey of desirable anomalies with SCP-005. Have you ever forgotten or lost your keys and been locked out of your house? Or maybe you've wanted to get a backstage pass to your favorite concert without spending a dime? Heck, ever wanted to rob a bank or steal a million dollars in gold from Fort Knox? Don't worry, we're not here to judge. In fact, we're going to tell you how to make those dreams come true. What you need is the Skeleton Key. As you can probably tell from the name, the Skeleton Key is a normal if a little old-fashioned looking key that can open literally any lock on Earth. The White House? No problem. The Pentagon? Piece of cake. Buckingham Palace? You can stroll right in and try on all the Queen's finest jewelry. Though, of course, if you have no interest in becoming a master infiltrator and instead just want a little more convenience in your daily life, the Skeleton Key also makes life easier by making you only need one key for your house, your car, your bike lock, any lock at all. Think of all the pocket space you'll save. The possibilities are endless. Speaking of endless, the next item on the list gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, all you can eat. Are you feeling hungry? Are you part of the strong 95% of the human population that loves pizza? Then buddy, you're going to love SCP-458, also known as the Limitless Pizza Box. If the name alone hasn't sold you, then trust us, it's going to get even more appealing. The Anomaly is a large-sized pizza takeout box from the Little Caesars pizza chain. And not only can this box produce a truly endless quantity of pizza, it also has an intuitive psyche connection with whoever is using it. Are you a devotee of Chicago-style deep dish? You got it. Do you prefer more of a cheesy New York-style slice with a little Parmesan sprinkled on top? Order up. Or maybe you're a real traditionalist and like a pure Italian. No cheese with a sprinkling of olives. Paisano, this box has got you covered. If you love pizza, then SCP-458 is a must-have for your kitchen. So let's say hypothetically you've just eaten six pepperoni pizzas from SCP-458. Dishes are piled high in the sink and you know they need to be cleaned, but you're in too much of a food coma to get up and do anything. If only you could just ring a little bell and summon someone who would happily do all those stupid chores for you. But alas, such a thing is impossible, right? Well, you'll be delighted to learn that this is very possible with SCP-662, also known as the Butler's Handbell. With a simple little ring, you'll summon the hyper-helpful British butler, Mr. Deeds, an entity who literally lives to serve. From doing your laundry, to giving you foot rubs, to assassinating that one jerk at your office who always steals your pudding cups from the fridge, Mr. Deeds will endeavor to complete almost any request within the realms of physical possibility. If you've ever wanted to lie back and have someone else take care of all those pesky responsibilities that make up the big to-do list that is life, then SCP-662 is your must-have anomalous ticket to freedom. But maybe you don't need a supernatural butler to do everything for you. You're self-sufficient. You take pride in doing things for yourself. But you feel a little down, and you could really use some encouragement from someone else close to you. It's times like these when you could really use a few words from a father who is no longer in your life to get you feeling confident again. If this applies to you, then you'll definitely want to get your hands on SCP-348, also known as a gift from Dad. This wholesome soup bowl appears to be a spiritual conduit to a loving fatherly figure 
producing the ultimate comfort food that will cure minor ailments and leave you with a sense of happiness and peace. Its effects may not be as amazing as some of the other big ticket items on this list, but it's definitely one of the most feel-good SCP objects out there and sure would be nice to have on hand for days when you need it. Speaking of feeling good, what feels better than being in love? Especially when the person you're in love with is just perfect for you and loves you back just as much. The problem is, in a world as big and complicated as ours, who knows where your true love is waiting to be found? If you can feel yourself longing for the love of your life, then you need SCP-2203 also known as Find the Right One for You. This device is a standard love tester machine, the kind that were a lot more common in bars a couple decades ago. But this is a love tester unlike any other. When you use the machine, it doesn't give you a rating from cold fish to Casanova. Instead, it dispenses a small card with a name and address on it which just so happens to be the name and address of your true love. It even features advice on how to initially approach and woo the potential person of your dreams. For the socially awkward and hopelessly romantic, this machine feels heaven sent. Just remember, once you're actually in the relationship, it's up to you to be a good partner if you want to make it last. SCP-2203 can't help you with that part, we're afraid. Of course, an important part of being a romantic partner or even just a good friend is being attentive to the other person's needs. But to meet those needs, you first need to understand them. And wouldn't it be great to know someone's deepest desires without having to go through the trouble of actually asking? Allow us to introduce you to SCP-978, also known as the Desire Camera. This simple Polaroid camera allows the user to peer into the very hearts of their subjects. All you need to do is take a photograph of them, and the resulting Polaroid picture will reveal whatever their deepest desire happens to be. Whether it's a trip to an amusement park, a new tie, or to reconnect with their estranged father, Keith. Is it a little creepy to pry into someone's most private thoughts like this without them knowing? Absolutely. In fact, it's super creepy. But hey, what they don't know won't hurt them, right? Maybe all this violating the privacy of your closest loved ones has worked up a powerful thirst in you, but you don't just want any old mm -hmm. cup of joe. Maybe you want to have the exact cup of coffee you had at a now-closed diner in 1995. Or maybe you want to know what a liquid dream tastes like. Or perhaps you just need a cup of antifreeze for your car and really don't feel like mm. going to the hardware store to get some. If this describes you, then you need to get your hands on SCP-294 deceptively known as the coffee machine. We say deceptively because this anomaly is so much more than a coffee machine. With a little pocket change and the electronic keypad connected to it, you can order any liquid you desire, even things that don't traditionally come as liquids. No matter your thirst, you can satisfy it with the help of SCP-294. Of course, there is the possible downside of ordering something dangerous or deadly and then drinking it. But frankly, that would be more your fault than SCP-294's. Remember to read the warning labels, kids. Maybe you've ordered an alien energy drink from SCP-294 and it really isn't sitting well with you. You can feel your liver withering away inside of you and even if you call an ambulance, you're not sure that it'll get here in time to save you. It's starting to go dark. Is this the end? No. Because lucky for you, you took the time to acquire SCP-2295, also known as the Best Bear, a name that this plush creature has more than earned. You see, this bear is the world's smallest yet most competent trauma surgeon. If ever someone collapses with organ failure within two meters of this magnanimous little bear, it will create a perfect functional organ from nearby materials like yarn and string to replace the broken one, and then perform a flawless, life-saving surgery on its patients. If ever you worry your organs are on the fritz, then you'll be glad that you can count SCP-2295 among your personal possessions. Also, when your organs aren't failing, nobody can deny that it's nice to have a cute little teddy bear around to cuddle. But what if you don't want a little bear or a magic butler to solve all of your problems? Maybe you want to be a little more self-sufficient and gain the knowledge and skills vital to live the life you want to live. If this applies to you, then you're going to adore SCP-5094, also known as Miss J's WizKid Schoolhouse. This software which comes on a CD-ROM is the ultimate find for the lifelong learner. 
Anyone who has the program can be personally tutored by Miss J, the perfect digital teacher on almost any subject they can possibly imagine. Want to become an expert in advanced thermonuclear physics? Want to be able to memorize every single one of Shakespeare's works to a letter? Want to know everything a human being could possibly know about cats? Have no fear, Miss J has your back. With her trademark intensive courses, she can turn novices into experts in just a few days leaving you feel enriched by the knowledge you've just been exploring. If expanding your mind and your horizons on a regular basis with the best teacher in the world sounds like a dream come true to you, then SCP-5094 will be an SCP object you'd kill to get your hands on. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Miss J would never condone violence, after all. After a hard day of hitting the books or computer screen, you're going to need a snack. But not just any snack. You want one that's out of this world, or maybe even out of this dimension. It's time to pay a visit to SCP-261, also known as the Interdimensional Vending Machine. This vending machine randomly generates exciting snacks and drinks from all across the multiverse, including Fruits of the Loom, a package of three pieces of edible underwear in fun bright colors, and Rat on a Stick, which is, well, exactly what it sounds like. And finally, what do you get for the person who has everything else? The best gift of all, the gift of life. There are still plenty of diseases that even the SCP Foundation has not been able to cure, except with one extremely rare and extremely special anomalous item, SCP-500, also known as the Panacea. The SCP is a bottle containing a small number of pills capable of curing any ailment known to man, from Alzheimer's to the flesh that hates. When it comes to healing, there is no equal to SCP-500. And considering you'll be drinking interdimensional soft drinks and eating truly disgusting amounts of pizza, it's never a terrible idea to have a cure for cardiac arrest laying around. And there you have it, folks. A list of the SCP objects you actually want. The hardest part is going to be breaking into the heavily guarded Foundation containment sites to get them in the first place. But hey, we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Which one of these objects do you think are worth the risk of getting shot at by mobile task forces for? Let us know in the comments. Now go check out the iPods, SCP-131, and SCP-1609 Remains of a Chair for more SCP objects you wouldn't mind having in your life.